Wow. So, me hungies. I'm gonna make some kind of like stir fry noodle thing. We have all these like vegetables in my fridge right now. Where is everything? Okay, we got snow peas. We got carrots. Get that little bok choy. We got celery. I think it's going bad. Um, yeah, today I'm gonna make lunch and film myself. And also talk about the job interview I just had. As some of you know, I'm a degenerate and I don't know how to be an adult. But today I had an interview, what I thought was gonna be like a legit interview for this job. It was like marketing, but this shit was a scam. Like not even, not even joking. This shit was a complete scam. Wait, how do I, step one. Oh yeah, I don't like a low. I literally applied to this job like two days ago and they called me the next day and they were like, hey, we want to set up an interview because we're looking to hire right away. And I was like, all right, cool, I'm down. And they were like, all right, come through tomorrow, which is today. First of all, so I get to the location. They texted me where to go. I want you to be able to like see what I'm doing. Maybe, oh yeah. Even though that's like crooked as fuck. Wait, <gasps> no way. Oh. <laughs> put something like over it so it's not like ultra white oh that might be a vibe well what was i even just talking about oh i get to the interview also i cut my hair and i hate it so i get to the interview well i get to the location they sent me and this shit is a library it's like in this kind of suburb area but this shit is literally a public library and i'm so confused because i'm like <laughs> did i accidentally apply to be a librarian when they also tell me like i'm in business professional clothing please and i was like okay weird request but sure because like i was gonna dress professional anyway but it was just like sketchy that they had to tell me to dress professional so i was standing in front of the library and this like ups man pulls up and he sees me standing there and looking confused as heck should i use that part yeah sure um and he's like oh, are you looking for blah, 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 like the name of the company? And I was like, yeah, I am. And he's like, they're down that ramp there. And I was like, um, okay. Because I think I was even more worried that I was in the right location. Like I was less worried that I just like somehow had the wrong address and she was gonna be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like. It's actually over here. And it was like an actual office building. But he just like confirmed my fears that I was about to walk into a library basement of all things. I should have been like probably more sketched out, honestly. And like even when I opened up the door, it was just like nothing there was a little um one of those standy guys like something you can buy on amazon oh it was like michael scott paper company vibe i walk into this room and there's a girl sitting at a desk then there's this other girl oh that was another part i pulled up to the library and i saw this girl standing outside and she was like pretty much crying on the phone and i was like oh yikes like I don't know what's going on, but sorry sis. That girl, that same girl that was crying on the phone was sitting there in the like random ass room in this 
company and I was like, oh shit, this bitch has an interview. She didn't know where the building was either. We're both just rolling up to the library. Don't know what's going on. Then I'm sitting there, she has me fill out this form and then this guy walks out. First of all, the girl at the desk is like, my age that like makes sense for somebody like office administration like a 20 something year old would have that but then out of this door the only door in like the whole i mean it's just like it looks like a closet door in this little ass room and this guy walks out and he is 22 he's literally my age but he's decked out in this like maroon three-piece suit he has his hair like slicked back he looks like the fucking joker also here we have some sesame oil i think yeah that's definitely hot okay put a little bit of that do you fry up our goodies and first i'm gonna put in the celery Okay. He takes the other girl back with him to interview her. And the other girl wasn't in business professional. She was wearing like leggings. So I was immediately like, sis didn't get the memo. Okay. So now I'm just taking a handful of rinsed sugar peas. What? They're, wait. I thought they were snow peas. I don't know. And I'm gonna cut the little tips off because I don't like those parts. Yeah, so I sit there and I'm just like talking to this girl. Cause like at that point, I thought maybe somebody, this is ageism probably. I thought somebody older was gonna come out and like interview me. Cause also me being like the bitch that I am, I was like, this chick's not in business professional. She's probably interviewing for like some other job. I thought some other guy was gonna come out or woman and they were gonna come out and take me back for an interview but like the chick that was there before oh and also while the other person was being interviewed i was sitting there talking to the secretary who's like my age and we just start talking about like because first she was asking me about my weekend and then i asked her and she was like oh it's my birthday this weekend and i was like "Ooh, fun and she's like yeah i'm probably gonna go out and i was like oh are you gonna go to south side because that's like where people go out in pittsburgh and she was like no i think i'm gonna go to mcfadden and she was just like she started going off on like this whole thing about like drinking and then we realized that we both went to iup which is like a huge party school. So I was like, oh shit, this girl's on the same level. Maybe, just maybe, this job could be lit. Like 15 minutes later, the dude comes back out and brings me in for an interview. And I was like, okay, little like Chad from Sigma Chi is gonna interview me, cool. I walk into his office and first of all, <laughs> Voila. And then you just give it like a little, you see that? Throw it, throw it in the air. Okay. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit cause those boys are gonna need a second. I don't think I'm actually gonna use the bok choy. I like bok choy and I've made these guys before. Like I threw some of them in my ramen, but they just kind of like, I don't, I don't know. I don't make them right. They always come out just tasting like very vegetable-y. And now I'm gonna take a carrot. I didn't peel it because I'm gross. I just scrubbed it with my scrubby sponge to get all the dirt off, which might be even more gross. So Chad, he took me into his office. I don't know, it was just so funny that this whole place was in a basement. And like, no offense to any basement companies, like if you're a startup or something, good for you. Like you get that basement company going, you get that cheap rent. But this place was acting like they were like some Fortune 500 company and they work with all of these amazing clients. That was the other sketchy thing. I did my research about them. Literally their website has nothing on it. So his office has a TV. He's literally playing like this party, kind of like EDM playlist. At first I was like, okay, this is kind of like vibes. Like this is cool. But then, I don't know, as he was talking, I was like, 
this isn't real. Like, this isn't a real job. He just started talking to me about, I mean, he asked me about myself, sort of. We just kept going off on these little tangents of like talking about things that wasn't even related to the interview. And whoa, this is the thing. It literally felt like a fake company. And it was. No, this is ageism. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, it's weird when you walk in to a basement company and the only people that are there are two other 22 year olds and everybody's like super dressed up and acting like very professional. I felt like we were like playing office. Like you know how you used to play house? We were playing office. So the interview lasted probably like 45 minutes only because we were just talking about like random other stuff. I even started talking to him about like going out sort of things. It was just so weird. It just felt wrong, but it also felt right. Cause I was like, if this place is for real, this is kind of cool. Like I could vibe with this company of just like two other 22 year olds, like taking on the business world. But then, that was so aggressive. Then he started talking about what the company, who their actual main client was. He started listing off all these other clients too. He was like, we've worked with Apple and I don't know, other big companies like that. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. Then he was like, but our main client for our office is, I don't even know it, they're irrelevant, that's why. It was this random like energy company. Ooh, I'm gonna put some mushrooms in it. It was like this energy company and I thought I recognized the name because I already kind of like, I don't know, I was just getting such weird vibes. I thought this was gonna end up being like one of those jobs where you literally like, have you ever seen those people stand at like the tables on like college campuses pretty much. And they try to get you to sign up to convert to like some other kind of energy, like wind energy, but it's like, but it's super sketchy and they don't even really tell you what's going on. They're just like, here, sign up for this and you'll save the earth. This is a lot of vegetal, but I want more mushroom. Brother, could I have mushroom? I hope these are washed. But yeah, so I left Brad's office. We apparently did like both of the interviews. It was supposed to be a second interview that you get invited to, but he was like, y'all, we just did both interviews. I was like, Rod, bro. Oh no, it's starting to burn. Oh shit. Ooh, smells good. So yeah, it all just seemed so sketchy. He like never even really told me what they actually do, which is like when that happens, you just know it's something sketchy. I mean, he kept trying to like explain the position and he was like, we just do like marketing for our client and like B2B ROIs. Yeah, yeah bro, them ROIs. Okay, now I'm gonna finally add the garlic. We have that last because it can burn pretty easily because she's like small. And I love me some garlic, let me tell you. It's just mm, immediately fragrant. Ooh. Okay, right oh. there. I actually have to go to work in like, what time is it? Hello? Oh shit. I have to go to work in like 45 minutes. Why am I taking so long to make this? And everything's burning too. Damn it. Oh. Now we're gonna add the noodles. They're already made because they're leftovers. And we're just gonna freaking throw it in like so. I'm not gonna add that much though because I kind of went overboard on the vegetal. No! Yeah, so that was the interview that I had today. He told me that they're gonna give me an answer by like one o'clock tomorrow, but, oh my God, my hair. I don't know. 
So like as soon as I got to my car, I looked up this like energy company. Bruh, let me tell you, they had 1.5 stars on Google reviews. And I was like, I knew it. I knew it all along. This is a scam. Wait, you know what I'm gonna do? Uh, ugh. Sorry, I was just trying to open this tea. <sighs> mm. Okay, no, we need sauce. Soy. This is a thing too, fish sauce. It looks like it's gonna catch on fire. Why is it like steaming? Are we okay? Okay, I'm gonna add... <sighs> you gotta be really careful using fish sauce. Like, ugh, this shit smells rank. But it's a really good ingredient for like stir fries and other Asian dishes. And you don't really need that much of it. Oh, I think it's anchovies. It sounds gross and it smells pretty bad too, but it's good. You just don't wanna like, ooh. We're gonna add like a splash of soy sauce. Not too much, cause you don't want it to be too salty. Oh my God. I think we're done. Ooh, but I wanna add an egg. Oh, but that, yeah, the company, the electric company thingy. Not even, what are they? Ugh. Well, anyway, they sell coal, first of all, which we don't do that anymore. And they're literally a scam. That was like all of the reviews on Google were like one star. And they were like, this is a scam. These people call me night and day. They like put out credit cards in my name or something. Oh, and I was just like, well, fuck. I knew it wasn't legit. I knew it. And I was immediately just like, Brad, like, why did you have to lie, dude? I thought we were friends. He was just like every other boy, honestly. You can't trust him. Even the ones in a maroon three-piece suit. Yum. Oh, I almost said Kobe. Ooh. Wait, what was I gonna do? Oh, egg. My favorite. So, long story short is don't don't even try to get a job because they're all fake. And even if they're not, they're probably whack. Oh, they look so nice. Should I? Just gonna, yeah. Brad, it up real quick. Yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna be a barista for the rest of my life, I think. Cause this happened to me another time. I applied to a, oh, it was an internship and it ended up being a scam too. <clears throat> So just honestly, like, you're not safe ever, and everybody sucks. That is the tea. And that's all I have to say about that. That's my story. And, oh, wait, but I have to show my, damn it, I caught herpes there. What the fuck? Oh yeah, that looks so good. <laughs> when did Ariana Grande get hair? So here's the final product. Oh, uh, looks pretty good. Okay, um, I'm gonna go eat this and try to treat my herpes before I go to work. Um, thank you and good night.